Hi, and welcome to the learning tutorial about basic electronics. Today we are going to talk about diode, its working principle, construction, symbol and applications. In the upcoming tutorial we will also briefly discuss various types of diodes one by one in separate short tutorials, so get connected to the channel. A diode is two terminal electronic component that functions as a one-way switch. They allow current to flow only in one direction. The two terminals of the diode are known as anode and cathode. The operation of diode can be classified in two ways. If anode has higher potential than cathode, then the diode is said to be in forward bias and it allows current to flow. If cathode has higher potential than anode, then the diode is said to be in reverse bias and it doesn't allow current to flow. The diodes are normally known as PN junction diodes. Why are they called the PN junction? Let's have a look. A PN junction is an interface or a boundary between two semiconductor material types, namely the P-type and the N-type. The P side or the positive side of the semiconductor has an excess of holes, and the N side or the negative side has an excess of electrons. In a semiconductor, the PN junction is created by the method of doping. The process of doping is explained in further detail in the next section. Semiconductors are materials which have electrical conductivity between conductors and insulators. Semiconductors can be pure elements, such as silicon or germanium, or compounds such as gallium arsenide or selenium. Doping is the process where small amounts of impurities are added to pure semiconductors causing large changes in its electrical conductivity. The electrons in every atom resides, and continuously rotates around the nucleus in valence shells. Each valence shell can hold a maximum number of electrons before they must occupy the next valence shell depending upon the atomic number of an atom. Semiconductors material like silicon and germanium have four valence electrons in their outermost shell. To make n-type material, a pentavalent impurity atoms is added to it. A pentavalent impurity is an atoms with five valence electrons such as arsenic, phosphorus, bismuth and antimony. As illustrated in figure, each pentavalent atom, forms covalent bonds with four adjacent silicon atoms. Four of the antimony atoms valence electrons are used to form the covalent bonds with silicon atoms, leaving one extra electron. This extra electron becomes a conduction electron because it is not involved in bonding. Because the pentavalent atom gives up an electron, it is often called a donor atom. The number of conduction electrons can be carefully controlled by the number of impurity atoms added to the silicon. Similarly to make a p-type semiconductor, trivalent impurity atoms are added. These are atoms with three valence electrons such as boron, indium and gallium. As illustrated in figure, a trivalent atom of boron forms covalent bonds with four adjacent silicon atoms. All three of the boron atoms' valence electrons are used in the covalent bonds, and, since four electrons are acquired, a whole results when each trivalent atom is added. Because the trivalent atom can take an electron, it is often referred to as an accept atom. Finally the N-type and P-type semiconductors are placed to make P-N junction. By doing so a potential barrier is formed between them due to the adjacent donor and acceptor atom neutralization. This barrier always requires some external threshold hold voltages to be applied, to overcome barrier, and allow current to flow. For silicon junction breakdown voltages are 0.7 and for germanium it's 0.3 volts. Diodes have countless applications in electronics. Some of the important applications are given. The diode can be used for rectification of AC to DC, can be used in low and fast signal switching, source isolation, as a voltage reference, frequency mixer, as a light source, temperature sensor, light sensor, as photovoltaic cell and solar application, and clipper and clamper circuits.
Thanks for watching, drop a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon, to watch more videos like this.